prince lives here We got 10,000 lakes But wait, the women are beautiful To me they are And we're not infested With pretentious movie stars And it hit me, hit me Minnesota is dope If only simply For not what we have But what we don't Welcome to 10 Minutes. I'm Tony Scott. Joined today in studio, Peter Odney. Thanks for joining us today, Peter. Thanks for having me. 10 Minutes with Tony Scott is brought to you by Pair Up, where groups and sponsors connect. Pair makes sponsors easy for sponsorships easy for groups and events of all shapes and sizes. Find a sponsor in less than 60 seconds and activate your community. Raise up to $1,000 or more toward custom shirts, cash donations, products and services, or food and, and catering from a national brand or, or local business near you. Pair up. Thank you, Pair Up, for sponsoring today's show. Let's get right to it. I got the stash going. No shave Movember. Gross. Quit shaking your head. <laughs> uh, Youth Hockey Hub, and it's Hockey Hub. one of its greatest sponsors and partners. Lots and lots of Burnetel Pizza have agreed to donate one dollar for every page view to 10 minutes in the month of November. It's a significant amount of money, a donation. Keep hitting for, refresh. <laughs> don't hit refresh. For, for the, uh, now, no shave Movember, gosh, it's a mouthful, is uh, a, a online organization built to deal with men's health issues. So I figure a lot of our programming has lots and lots of hockey dads and future men. So I figure what a great cause to donate our uh, profits from our, our company to that specific charity in kind. So, all right, let's move on. Let's talk squirts, peewees, bantams, high school, everything in between. We got lots to cover today in the hockey world. You want to start, up off, start us off with the squirts? Let's start this carousel. We're going to start with squirts where there really isn't anything to report mm. yet. Squirts are going to begin district play after Thanksgiving and after the holiday, then we can dive in a little deeper. We won't start ranking them until then. There are now rankings you can p pump in scores. But if you're in your game limit issues, boys and girls, be careful of posting stuff on now rankings if it's not really a game. Uh, we will take them down if they are not real games. Uh, speaking of squirts, we need one more squirt B team. We had a mass exodus from association that backed out two of their B teams. So we've replaced one of them. We're still looking for a squirt B team for the YHH Squirtacular in January. Give us a call or send us an email at youthhockeyhub at gmail.com. All right, moving on to Pee Wee's. I got a special team, a little shout out today to a team that really was off of my radar completely, and now they're right in my radar. It's St. Michael Albertville. Shout out to the Northern Ring. Absolutely. They tied Ossie Maple Grove last week, beat Minnetonka 10 3. That's like by a touchdown that's and a, an extra point. That's running time right there. Yeah, and then they lost to Edina, who these are teams that are Edina and Ossie Maple Grove. They're in the pumpkin championship game, losses them four to three. So here's a team that's really finding its way right into the top 10, coming right out of nowhere. So shout out to uh, St. Michael Albertville. Can't wait to see you guys play soon. That's a dark horse team that could become a front runner. Oh yeah. Within the oh, next few weeks. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Uh, lastly, uh, speaking of tournaments, uh, we are still in need of one spot for the Pee Wee B2 Gobbler tournament, uh, a YHH event held in Bloomington over the Thanksgiving holiday. So we still need one team to fill out that 12 team pool play tournament in Bloomington if you have a team or know of a team uh, let, let us know either by phone text or email email is youthhockeyhub at gmail.com now you were Mr. Bantam this past weekend down in Chicago Just covering six Minnesota teams <laughs> and several others too mind you but let's talk a little bit about the six teams that you saw down playing in the Bauer invite in Chicago yeah let's scale the focus to the Minnesota teams there were six of them at the six Minnesota Bantam AA teams playing at the O2 Bantam Major Division at the Bauer World Invite. We had Rosemount, Edina, Blaine, White Bear Lake, Minnetonka, and Minneapolis. Lots lot, of good players. A lot of good players. We've seen a lot of these kids for several years now. Yep. And now, like like our website really hit the hit the pavement when these second year Bantams were our first year squirts. Yep. So they were little watching, tiny guys, and now they're. We watched them grow up. Yeah, absolutely. Kids like Jake Ratzloff yeah. from Rosemont, played, wildly playing the Squirtacular. Player. Ratzloff did so. Yeah, I mean, that's just to give you some idea. He's a YHH legacy. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he is, and he's always been a superstar. And he's a great defenseman. Has had great success in youth hockey, and I expect big success for him in high school as Definitely. well. Definitely. A couple of other players that we really liked from the Minnesota teams: uh, Emmett Worst from Edina, big power forward, and Ramsey Bell from Edina, who for my money, which isn't a whole lot, could be <laughs> one of the best goaltenders in the state. His recovery after shots and containing rebounds, second to none. 
from very Florida. athletic. Very Didn't athletic. Didn't get any of the athletic ability from his father, but Ouch. he's very athletic. Zing. That's a zing. <laughs> that could be my boom roasted on Scotty Bell already. Could be. Look at that. That is. From, right. from Blaine, we really liked Brandon Benson. Another also, great goaltender. Another tender. goalie. And Hunter Hansen, a forward with some seriously soft hands. Absolutely. From White Bear Lake, Cam Berg had a big weekend. He spent time on 10 minutes with Tony Scott last year. Did he? In fact, yeah. Honing his interview skills yes, for he future did. stardom. Yes, he did. <laughs> Teddy Lagerback and Nick Henry from Minnetonka. Well, that would be a good guess. Teddy Lagerback would be a good guess. Teddy. On the show. Teddy Lagerbag is one of those players that you never forget seeing for the first time. <laughs> oh no! I mean, if there was, if you looked up Ginger in the in, in the dictionary, <laughs> Teddy might be one of the guys you put a picture on there. And he's got Ginger game too. It is red hot. It is red hot. Seamus Foley from Minneapolis is one of those kids who, you know, he's right on the cusp. Yeah. You know, oh, he, yeah. he's usually an inch away from being one of the best players on the ice. Great size, good speed. He can be a real force in front of the net. That a few years ago, two years ago, when they were peewees, it was great going to a Minneapolis game. There are all these names on their I mean, they just Mackie, Mackie Zabinski, Seamus Foley. You know, they had all these just crazy names on one yeah. team. A and phonetically then, pleasing. Oh yeah, out. and then and then their one of their best players was Will Mortensen. Will. I mean, it was just, just like the most <laughs> the most vanilla name you could ever come up with. So, um, all right, so let's move on to high school. We had a big commit this week. We did Ben Myers from Delano. It is about time. It is about, it about time. time. Somebody time. gave that kid a scholarship. Ben Meyer is one of the most fun players to watch in oh, this so I fast. Mean, whenever he's on the ice, you got to keep an eye on Ben Myers. He commits to Maine out on the East Coast. Yeah, well, congratulations to Ben. They, uh, the Black Bears got themselves a heck of a hockey player. Yeah, they did. Uh, talk a little bit about the IITCCM Championship, which is basically this, the all-star tournament at the end of the high school elite league. Uh, the Team White, which is one of the two Minnesota teams, wins it all. Hmm. Not surprising, because Minnesota rules. Uh, who got? Who was the big game winner? Who was the big uh, superstar in that game? Uh, Sam Huff. Sam Huff from two, Maple Grove, two goals and an assist for Team White. Not bad, not bad. They dominated Shattuck, which was nice to see a team like that all, of all-star Minnesota players take out uh, the Shattuck prep team. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's move on here. I gotta excuse myself for half a second here. You want you to keep everybody uh, uh, entertained for a second? As Do a, a minute of stand-up. Oh yeah, here it is, boys and girls. The Blue Ox. Oh. I want to drop it. You need both hands. This is going to be great. All right, let's see if we can wing through this one now. Uh, let's make our predictions for this bad boy. We have a double A and A championship in Maple Grove this weekend. Lots of great A teams. Lots of great double A teams. Uh, I can't wait, actually, for, for both of these championship games on Sunday. You got a prediction for double A? I do. I'm going to go with Minnetonka. I really liked what I saw in Bensonville, and I think if they can stick with teams... In, in all three zones, and they got a chance at taking home the I like Ox. that pick. Uh, any secondary pick for you? Eden Prairie would be another team Eden I'd keep Prairie. an eye on. They've been playing very well the last week or so. Uh, Nico Kapitanovich, their coach, has got the boys playing well right now. So I wouldn't be surprised. This is a total toss-up tournament. It's not like last week and last year was like, <laughs> oh, it's going to be Minnetonka or Minnetonka. Like, Minnetonka <laughs> was my front runner and my dark horse. I mean, it was that convincing. Although Cloquet kind of gave him a game or uh, in, in that one and then later on in the state tournament. My pick is going to be Stillwater. I'm going Stillwater. I think they have the best, probably the best Bantam in the state, Noah Tussie. Mm -hmm. I think that he can, I think Stillwater's deep. Charlie Strobel's a good player. they got a great goaltender. This is a really good squad. I like, the, I like Stillwater's chances of winning this tournament. Uh, my secondary team would be Andover. Uh, they're another team that only lost their first game of the year this past week mm -hmm. to Eden Prairie. So there's going to be some great teams, some great games, games in, this, in this event. I can't wait to see it. We'll be broadcasting the games on Sunday, uh, uh, two quarterfinals Saturday, two semifinals Sunday in the double A, and then all three championship games of the brackets and obviously the Class A. Speaking of Class A, I didn't prompt you before this. Some great teams in the Class A. Defending state champion Orno is in it. Armstrong Cooper is in it. Uh, 
Park Cottage Grove, who's always right near the top right now in the uh, in the now rankings, they're in it. And a team that won't surprise anybody at this level, Alexandria is in it, and they Ooh, are the deep, deep team. Jacob Stender. I mean, this is a really, really good squad. So I wouldn't be surprised if Alex wins it this year. Uh, also, uh, St. Paul is in it. So some really good teams right. from all over the state. Uh, looking forward to a great event in Maple Grove. All right, uh, quick announcement. Talk a little bit about our NOW rankings. The NOW rankings have undergone a little bit of a makeover, Tony. Tell us about the process. You know, it may look like a little makeover, but it was a massive <laughs> makeover, a ma you know, massive overhaul. Uh, we've changed the formula a little bit. You'll see there's some changes there. The PBA double A's, those two teams, they can play each other. Their games get counted towards their record, but the games don't influence their ranking anymore, which is an interesting change. We found that the the discount, we used to have a discount for games between AA and A, but it really threw teams off that were way high or way low. It was really good in the median, but it was really bad at the top and at the bottom, and it kind of threw things off in the rankings overall. So we got rid of those games. So if you see a game against a AA team in your profile, it's just going to be in your prof profile, and that's it. It counts for your win-loss, and it counts for your record, but it doesn't count in the formula. So just to keep an eye out for that, it's a great new process. You can actually enter the scores right inside of the rankings portal. There's going to be a new rankings uh, score input on there as well, um, a separate page for that as well. So it's a really exciting thing. We're also going to have rankings for Tier 1 and Colorado on the site coming up in the next uh, few weeks. And if you missed any of that, feel free to hit that rewind button and listen to it a couple of different times so you know where you're at. Yeah, exactly. exactly. All right, time for me to put the trophy down. You want to get started on your Boom Roasted? Let's start with the Boom Roasted. My Boom Roasted is going to go out to the Minnesota colleges who refused to lock up Delano's Ben Myers. Myers, like we mentioned, one of the most electric players in the state, and that you guys forgot to pay the bill. All right. All right. I like that. Um, I thought the boom roast was going to go out to my friend here on my face, but since you We can know do a double boom roast. Oh, roasted. you don't want a double boom Be roast. Because <laughs> your mustache makes you look like Captain Morgan's lame brother, Dale. Wow. Wow, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. It's not nice to make me look at that. All right, well, since you doubled up on the boom roasteds, I'm just going to kind of stay away from the boom roasted. The, the fire is a little too hot here. I'm going to just move on to game pucks. I'm going to take the Borrow game the puck game from puck. me because mine fell on the floor while trying to pick up the trophy. So my game puck goes out to Brian and Patty Hansen. Brian and Patty uh, own and run the uh, Red and Black League, which is a great league for junior varsity and varsity high hockey players in the fall, no check league. They put on a great league, and they're always super excited uh, to have YHH their stuff, and they're very accommodating to us, and they put on just a wonderful league. They keep the high school boys in check when, it, when the no checking thing is kind of getting... Their, not a small task. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. And they attract some great coaches and some great people. It's just a great thing. So huge game puck goes out to Patty and Brian Hansen for putting on a great league. Yep, and my game puck is going to go to Vince in Bensonville, Illinois. Vince. It's always a guy named Vince. It's always it? a guy named Vince. Vince came through for me every time I looked down at my phone after hearing, ba -ding! it was Vince with a score sheet. That's awesome. He so came through in the clutch. You guys don't know this as, as readers, but score sheets to us are like gold because then we can deliver great information. You know, such and such team one and such and such player had two goals and an assist. We can deliver that to you. Right. Without the score sheet, it means nothing. It's we're just we're a, useless. We're, we, we're useless. We still are useless. We're borderline useless as it is. <laughs> but we're very useful once we get that score sheet. So huge shout out to Vince and all the other Vinces in the world who can supply us with score sheets. For Peter Odney, I'm Tony Scott. You're, 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 you're watching us on Tony, 10 Minutes with Tony Scott. Have a good day. And if you ain't gonna leave, cause this is where you're from, say, say, St. Cloud, Minnesota, Soda. Mankato, Minnesota, Soda. Duluth, Minnesota.